What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Uncommon Sense. If you're new to the channel, we talk about all things fragrance, fashion, style, mental health, and wellness. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. We are getting ready to do a ride along. Y'all gonna come along with me on a fantastic voyage. Buckle up your seatbelt, cause safety first. You know how we get down for the crowd. Monique was talking about wearing bonnets in public. Yeah, I'm wearing my do rag in public. But at least it's classy, it's suede, velour, whatever you wanna call it. And it's royal blue. You see how pretty that is? Get your ass in, let's ride. Y'all ready? Let's go. Cause after the jump, we getting ready to what? Get into that motherfucker. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my. We doing a review presented by so shout out to the bar gassing and to just the folks that want to send you things you know i'm so humble and i'm so grateful except for sending us things to review like that's just a blessing when people want to send you things out of the goodness of their heart because yo they don't have to do that Thank you. Can I get a number one? Orange juice, please. Else? Can I have a grape jelly to go with that, please? Else? Nope, that's it. Oh, no, thank you. All right, thank you. Like I was saying, um, people don't have to see you shit. I'm thankful that. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Appreciate it. Can I have a straw? Thank you. You too. People don't have to send you a damn thing. And not only did he send me things, he genuinely just wants to hear what I think about fragrances. You know what I mean? And these are things that are out of his personal collection. So, again, Big Bro, I really appreciate you. And, yeah, we're going to get into this thing. And then, patiently waited. So, you the man. So, we're going to pull some out of this bag. And there's quite a few things in here. You know what I mean? It's... I've had quite a few individuals send me things and I've not forgotten about the individuals who've sent me things and I still have yet to review them. I'm gonna get to them, I promise. I'm slow, but I am intentional. <laughs> like I'm intentional about getting in this traffic. Make no mistake, we're gonna get it done. Oh, peep this, scent of the day is Latafa Ooh for Glory Amethyst. Shout out to Tyree Beatty, because he put me on. He told me about that fragrance. I ain't know nothing about it. Smells really good as orange, I believe, as a featured fragrance note. So that's what I'm rocking today, because it's gloomy and cool in Chicago. People driving crazy this morning. It's every man for itself. I ain't do no GPS either to see what traffic was looking like. Taking a risk. All in the name of context. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, genre, Bergamot Imperial. Love genre. Yes. yes. Thanks, Lamar. I've been seeing this one and I am excited. Ooh, happy dance, happy dance. I know this ain't gonna disappoint. No, it ain't. Mm. I'm buying this. Like, Lamar, why did you do this? You got me spending money that I ain't made yet. I need a hash brown to calm my nerves. I'm 
taking this with me on vacation. Thank you. First and foremost, thank you very much for assuring me this was a safe bet. I don't have to worry about it. And I never worry about genres because I've never had a genre fragrance that was not a sure bet. This one is very citrusy. Has a little bit of musk. It has a suedeish feel though, like it's something kind of smooth and feathery about it. But it's fly. It kind of reminds me of R.A.M.C. just a little bit, but it is indeed in a league of its own. I believe the two can stand in a collection and be fine. This one feels a bit more in the lane of kind of the orange zest versus the juiciness of the orange itself. Make sense? perfect for that beautiful time that's going to be coming into which will be summertime soon hopefully mm. thumbs up if you think we should do another one there's quite a few in here it's like from where I can feel like four or five thanks Lamar thanks big bro we'll do one more before we get novice is the key you told me to check out the key. So we're gonna do that one. In this here, right along. I'm gonna give y'all a two for one, cause I ain't did this in a while. So we're gonna do two bits of content in one. Because I owe y'all that. I believe in providing more value that way. You know, more than they expect. It's good business practice. We have Novitus Parfums, the key. Y'all see that? I'm going fast, so. When I come to a stop, I'll focus in. But my camera likes to focus on me. Not a bad key. <laughs> Not a bad feature of a camera that wants to focus on the face of the user, right? Novitus, the key. Oh shit. Dropped up. Got it. I still. Mm, this bergamot. This genre bergamot imperial. I am putting that in my cart today, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm putting. I'm buying that. Like no bullshit. That is getting got. I'm. I'm wondering if I'm gonna wait for my screen list. Now that's summer. That's gonna be on the summer list because that's a summer fragrance to me. So y'all get a sneak preview of what my summer list may be. No bullshit. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, anyway. That's that. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is gonna give. This loveliness. Mm, sexy. Mm. Reminds me of a few things right off top. Reminds me of under the music grove. Mm, sexy. I can dig it. Mm. That's a barbershop equality, which I like. With some sweetness. So let that do its thing. I may need one more spritz. Because I don't think I got the full effect. You know what I mean? But I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Shout out to my man Trey Sense. Smelled lemon like a Sicilian lemon, too.
What's what going on? What going on, people? What going on? Tastemaker that says, hey, this is what you do. Tell him about this. And he only does it to select people. You know. Oh my gosh. Like it has a very fresh lemon, a specific lemon, whether it's a Malfi or a Sicilian lemon. Maybe even Yuzu, like I said. That is lovely. has never disappointed me. He's never said, oh, you're going to like this. And I'll be like, mm, I don't know. It's never let me down, really. So, food for thought there. I'm trying to see what else I pick up. I, other than like an Amalfi lemon or something like that. It's like orange or grapefruit, something beneath it. There's another citrus that adds like a little bit of depth and sweetness. I can't it's nondescript though. It's just a supporting cast member. It's not loud. As far as Bergamot Imperial, it's over here chilling. Now more of that suede kind of feel. I'm thinking better of it probably. It's a supporting cast member here. It kind of reminds me a bit of Tom Ford's Great Vetiver in that suede, bubbly kind of feel. I would think it kind of reminds me like how champagne makes your nose feel when you're taking like a good quality champagne. That's what I'm getting with the Burger Martin Imperial. I love this though. I love this though. Like it has a very classy feel. This is something that I would think to have in my collection for sure. It, again, it is not a loud fragrance either. Skirt, skirt. Shout out to Lamar for making my vacation fragrance packing easy. Because <laughs> I'm actually going to take another trip out of the country. I've been traveling my ass off too. So by the time y'all see this, I probably will have taken the trip already. So this is going to make the vacation fragrance packing very easy i don't even have to pour any samples that's my big bro he hooked, he hooked me up he looked out in a way that he don't even realize <laughs> so big love bro you don't even know and that's the thing about people that are sent into your life to bless you they'll bless you in ways they don't even know that they're doing because they're sent as helpmates and blessings in disguise 
So, or angels in a way, depending on what your faith is and what you believe. They'll come into your life and be beacons of light in different ways. I'm just so thankful, so thankful and so grateful. Bergamot, I'm thinking that's what it is. It's an Amalfi lemon, bergamot. I can't detect what other notes yet, but this is another one I'm gonna definitely probably add to the collection. Damn. And just when I thought my collection was set and I didn't need to add nothing else, here you go being complicated. <laughs> I ain't mad though because it's good stuff and when it's good stuff it is what it is I find myself kind of removing redundant things and um, either giving them away and or um, passing them on to individuals who like fragrances and are learning their fragrance taste I pass on fragrances that are no longer my taste because tastes evolve and I've been noticing my fragrance taste is evolving a lot quicker than I can wear a fragrance to the end or through a bottle. Definitely noticing that. So it's all good though. No harm, no foul. Beeping fat ass. <laughs> As a trainer said, whoa, whoa, pull over. No, I'm kidding. Somebody I've seen in person. Thank you all for checking out this video and coming in with me on this ride along. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, consider it. For sure. If you're returning to the channel, make sure you like. Leave a comment, hang around and consider, of course, coming back. Let me know what you thought about this. And for sure, come with me on a new ride along because we'll be doing a lot more of those than we have been, I promise you. And come on back on this fantastic voyage. It's been your man of common sense where we are gonna be presenting all of the things, fragrance, fashion, style, and new content coming soon. I love you from the bottom of my heart, the top of the sides. All the way around, we're gonna lift it up and love on you underneath, and then we're gonna put it back down and put a little bit of love on top. And again, it's been your man, Uncommon Sense. We out. Till next time. I right, y'all.